Hey everybody, KT here. You're not gonna believe this. I'm going out to see a truck, a Ram, that has over, I, I just can't believe So we're going to go see this Ram 3500 truck that has over a million miles. So let's go see it. Hey guys, like what I said, we are fixing to go see a 2012 Outdoorsman Ram with over one million miles. And here it is, guys. Right here, 2012. 2012 Ram Outdoorsman. Yeah, and here's the proud owner of the truck, Mr. Trey Dushan. How you doing, Trey? Good. Right, yeah. What you got here, man? 2012 Ram. I bought it in February of uh, 2013. Been hauling campers with it. Heck yeah. Got uh, a million and 44,000 on it. Wow. Let's look at this thing. A million... 44,000. And what model is it? It's a 12. It's a what? Uh, Ram 3500 Outdoorsman. Outdoorsman. 6.7 liter. Nothing but a Cummins turbo diesel. Wouldn't have it any other way. Mercy. And look at the truck, y'all. We're talking, <laughs> we're talking some people only put 20, 25,000 miles a year on their truck or car. And here we are with a Ram with a million miles on it. Look at that. What you got in the back? Auxiliary fuel tank, uh, 20,000 pound fifth wheel, a few of the essentials, ice chest, a place to keep my clothes. Nothing fancy, just a work truck. Work truck. Well, I'll tell you what, it's been a good work truck. So in order to have this kind of mileage on this truck, what do you do as far as maintenance? Uh, just your basic oil change, about every 10 to 12,000. Uh, I don't use synthetic, just regular shell Rotella mm -hmm. and a new uh, oil filter every time. Change the fuel filter every 50,000, 40 to 50,000. Uh, transmission which it, it does have the original transmission, never been worked the, the, on. The original transmission? Yeah, yeah. Wow. Uh, change that fluid about every 150 to 200,000. Uh, I keep a check on the fluid. The fluid starts getting dark and uh, smelling burnt, then it's time to change it. So, so what have you done as far as the motor? What all have you had to change, like pistons, stuff? What all have you had to change? No internal work on the motor. Uh, None. No injectors. The turbo is still wow. original. Original transfer case, rear end, front end. Uh, still, got, still got the original shocks on it. <laughs> uh, so, so you, you, but probably alternators, batteries, stuff yes, like that. Yes, yes. Uh, I've been through about four alternators, uh, a few water pumps, power steering pump. Uh, pretty much all the normal wear items on the front of the motor have been wow. replaced, at least once. Awesome. Uh, couple sets of front hubs. Well, uh, you have to do, I guess, with all the miles and how the roads are out there. You, yeah. You know, hubs, tires. Hey, well, look, why don't we take a look up under the hood, see what you got. All right. All right. Look at that. Yeah, we know he just washed it because there's water, but still yet, it doesn't have any dents, doesn't have any. Got a couple little scratches, but big deal. One, over one million miles. All right, and there's that bad motor right there. Cummins diesel. 6.7. Wow. I'll tell you, he keeps eye on everything. And uh, I know y'all probably don't know this yet, but Trey's my son-in-law. That's right. But um, he, he's been working. Um, so what, what made you get into RV hauling? What, what, what started all that? Besides uh, me. Just the freedom <laughs> of schedule and the, uh, you know, you are your own boss mentality. Uh, you miss some things being away, but you get to make your own schedule and do what you want to do when you want to do it. Uh, pretty and much you've been working for Horizon seven years? Almost seven years. be wow. seven years in May of 2020. Wow. And uh, 
How long you plan on doing it? Oh, I don't know. You don't know? Maybe as long as this truck will last. I don't, <laughs> I don't know. So I uh, take it you got it paid for? Oh, yeah. I'm being a little yeah. nosy now. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, got it paid for. No truck note. Not like that black Dodge back there. We won't even talk about that. All right. So the interior's probably still all right. Well, wear and tear. Uh, didn't, you have, didn't you have a dog? Yeah, big, I had a big 60-pound bulldog with me for quite a while. Yeah. He's not riding with me anymore, but uh, check probably out. the worst thing on the interior, which is uh, probably to be expected, driver's side seat right there takes a beating. Uh, patched on it. Uh, oh, yeah. Quite a bit. But. All right, he's got his uh, GPS stuff. And, and like all haulers, we some take out their back seat, some don't, and uh, we, we usually catch us a nap right there in our back seat. Oh yeah, that's comfortable. He got a little storage down there. Hey, what you gonna do with them sardines? We'll talk about that later. Snack. It's a little snack. All right. But yes, this is this is awesome. And a lot of guys, a lot of guys' trucks don't last this long. I've I've been through. Well, since Trey's been with us, I've been through three or four trucks, and uh, but he takes care of his truck real good. So. Once he, are you ever going to retire this truck and get you a, another, a new one or another truck and use this? I've thought about it as good as it's doing right now. I'm just going to roll with it. Roll with it. It's like an extension of my body at this point. I know what it's doing and just pile up cash. So, yeah. so Trey, you've been working for Horizon where I've been for 16 years. What do you like about the company? Because a lot of drivers come and go. They come and go, you know. So, what, why do you think they come and go all the time? Turnover. I think in general, a lot of drivers come and go because they don't understand the business and it's just the nature of it. Uh, I think no matter where you go, you're gonna have slow times, and a lot of drivers, if we get a little slow, they'll they'll jump ship and uh, go go wherever they think they may have some loads. Yeah. Uh, to me, it, it's just gonna be the same thing everywhere you go. Uh, Horizon to me is on the leading edge of technology. We've always had the uh, the dispatch board and. Uh, to me, the longer you stay with them, the more they get to know you and- uh, So like they, family. Yeah, they take care of you. Uh, you know, you've been around a while, it matters to them. You, you know what I feel? I feel like jumping companies is sort of like lane changers. Yeah. I mean, they change in lanes and then after two miles, you're right there next to them or you're in front of them. So just stay in your lane. If you were wondering, you do not have to have a CDL to do this job. You just have to keep your uh, GVWR combined truck and trailer below 26,000 pounds. You find the GVWR on the truck right here on the door. This is a 12 model, so it's 10,100 pounds. So that able, enables me to pull a trailer that weighs up to 15,900. You add those two together, and as long as they're 26,000 or less, you can tow it without a CDL. All right, one thing I feel has been very beneficial to me and my uh, injectors and my fuel pump uh, life, original fuel pump and injectors, is this tank right here, everything that comes out of this tank before it goes to my factory tank is filtered through a canister filter. I can just screw on and screw off. Keeps a lot of the dirt and trash out of your main filter. Uh, this, this tank right here is 110 gallons. You know, what I hear from a lot of the drivers out there, they, and, and it probably has for what, how you drive your truck and, um, you know, taking off and all this, but they go through some transmissions pretty often. So let's check with Trey and see what he does as far as his transmission is concerned. Uh, as far as the transmission goes, I think 
Uh, I hardly ever use the, the tow haul mode. I think these transmissions are equipped to, uh, to tow without it. I do run the engine brake all the time. I think that's good for your turbo and your actuator. Uh, but on the transmission, if you, you see it, you got a hill coming up, just go ahead and shift it down into fifth gear before you get up that hill and there's not as much strain on the truck. That's right. And there's no prize for getting to the top first. That's right. Just take it easy, it'll get up there. And uh, just just don't be hard on the equipment. Uh, but like I say, I've never ran the tow haul because when you run that in combination with the engine brake, when you're decelerating and your transmission is downshifting, it's downshifting really hard and it's jerking and doing things that I don't like. I think that's more detrimental to the transmission. So if you were to get a new truck next year, next year, are you still gonna stay with the Rams? Or? Oh yeah, yeah. And mainly because of the engine and plus that's what you used to? Engine, that's what I'm yeah, familiar with. And before I did this, I didn't, uh, I'd never owned a diesel truck in my life. I've just kind of learned all this as I went. Uh, just pay attention to your equipment and don't ignore problems. Got and, something going on, get it fixed. Yeah. So there you have it guys. 2012 Ram Outdoorsman four-wheel drive, 1,044,000 miles on it. Awesome. Well, thank Trey Duchan, my son-in-law, for showing us that truck and to keep on rolling. We'll catch y'all later. See ya.